Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car Tutorials. My name is Victor, today I'm going to show you guys how to build an engine in My Summer Car. Now, before we build the engine, we'll need some supplies from Timo. So we're just going to buy one alternator belt, one oil filter and one box of spark plugs. And now with everything purchased, now we are ready to build the engine. Alright, the first step is to grab our block. And we're just going to rotate it like this. Next, we're going to grab the crankshaft. And we're just going to insert it right here. Once you see a check mark, we're just going to left click on our mouse to insert it. Next, we're going to install the main bearings. Now we're going to grab our 9mm spanner to tighten down those 6 bolts. To change the tool mode, press 2 on your keyboard and now we can just left click on our mouse to pick up the tool. Now we're going to install the pistons. So now we're just going to rotate our block back to the upright position like that. And now we can grab our pistons. Now with the pistons installed, we're just going to rotate the block one more time to tighten down those bolts. And to do so, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Now we're going to install the oil pan. To tighten down the oil pan, we'll need a 13mm spanner and a 7mm spanner to tighten down those bolts. Now we're going to install the camshaft. And to tighten down the camshaft, we'll need a 5mm spanner. Now we're going to install the cam gear. And to bolt down the cam gear, we'll need a 10mm spanner. However, we need to rotate the block first. Now, when tightening down the cam shaft gear, we need to align this arrow right here with the block arrow right here. So when we're tightening down like this, the cam gear actually turns. So we're just going to do one full rotation until we match up with that line. As you can see here, the line actually matched up. So make sure to line up this block right here with the cam gear line right here so that you don't explode your engine. Now we're just going to install the timing chain. Next, we're going to install the timing cover. To bolt it down, we'll need a 6mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the water pump. To tighten down the water pump, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the crankshaft pulley. To tighten it down, we'll need an 11mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the alternator. To tighten it down, we'll need a 7 and 10 mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the engine plate. Next, we're going to install the flywheel. 
To tighten it down, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Now we're just going to build the clutch assembly. So we're just going to bring the pressure plate into the clutch cover plate. And now we're just going to bring the clutch disc into the whole assembly. And now everything is installed. Now we're going to install the clutch assembly. To tighten it down, we'll need a 6mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the gearbox. Now, before bolting down the gearbox, we're going to install the inspection cover. Now, to tighten down the whole gearbox assembly, we'll need a 7mm spanner and a 10mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the drive gear. To tighten it down, we'll need a 6mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the head gasket. Next, we're going to install the cylinder heads. To bolt it down, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the rockers. To tighten down the rockers, we'll need the 8mm spanner. Now we're going to tune the rockers. So we're just going to grab our screwdriver real quick. And now we're just going to scroll down until it doesn't move on your mouse. Okay, just like that. It doesn't move anymore. And now we're just going to scroll up 7 clicks. And now we're just going to do it for the rest of these screws. Next, we're going to install the rocker cover. To tighten it down, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the water pump pulley. To tighten it down, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the starter motor. To bolt it down, we'll need a 7mm spanner. Next, we're going to install the oil filter. To take down the oil filter, we're just going to scroll up on our mouse. Next, we're going to install the spark plugs. To tighten it down, we're going to use the spark plug wrench. Next, we're going to install the distributor. Now, before we bolt down the distributor, we're going to tune it. Now, to tune the distributor, we're just going to scroll down on our mouse until it doesn't move like that. And now, we're just going to scroll up 27 clicks. Now that it's 27 clicks, we're going to grab our screwdriver. Now we're just going to tighten down this single screw right here. Next, we're going to install the alternator belt. Now we're going to adjust the alternator. So we're just going to scroll down on our mouse until it doesn't move. Just like that. And now we're just going to scroll up with two clicks. Once that's adjusted, we're just going to grab our screwdriver again and now we're just going to tighten down this single screw like that. Next, we're going to install the fuel pump. To tighten it down, we'll need a 7mm spanner.
Next, we're going to install the headers. Now we're just going to install the carburetor. To tighten down the headers and the carburetor, we'll need the 8mm spanner. Now we're going to tune the carburetor, so we're just going to grab our screwdriver right here. And now we're just going to scroll upwards 50 clicks and downwards 23 clicks. Next, we're going to install the air filter. To tighten it down, we'll need a 6mm spanner. Now, for the last step is to paint the engine. However, this step is optional. But I'm just going to show you guys what it will look like when you paint the engine. So now, to paint the engine, we're just going to grab our spray can and press F on our keyboard to equip it. And now, we're just going to spray it on the block. And just like that, your block is now orange. And now, we're just going to do the rocker covers. And now, we can just change the color of the air filter as well. Anyways, that's all for this tutorial guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, consider giving a like and get sub to the channel for more future videos just like this one. And also, if you have any suggestions or more recommendations, feel free to leave it down in the comment section down below. And with that all being said, as usual, my name is Victor, signing off. I'll catch you guys in my next video.